Okay guys, here's part two. This build is coming along well. So let's get started. Now, so first of all, I glued this along here. And then I put glue where I scored it. That strengthened it quite a bit. Because it was pretty weak in that area. So I glued there, glued up there, and then glued along here on both sides. And I also installed these two balsa wood pieces just to strengthen the motor mount area and I've also enlarged this slot on this side of the fuselage and scored it so that side of the fuselage is all ready to go but before we install it a couple things we have to do including hinging the rudder to start I glued in three hinges on the top I also glued in a hinge at the bottom here. So there are a total of four hinges on the rudder, all glued on the left side of this fuselage. And then I beveled this edge along here and also down there. So I took sandpaper and just went like this and then like this. So I beveled that edge and then with the rudder, I beveled just lightly I sanded this edge this edge and also on the other side and then I cut the slots for the hinges so to do that I just took, took the rudder and kind of pressed it on hard and then the hinges left a big enough imprint that I could cut a slot with an exacto knife so now the rudder is pretty much ready to be installed I also sanded all the edges of the rudder just to make it look a little nicer I got the rudder installed. What I did was I just put glue on the uh, all over the slot and just slid the rudder on and make sure it by it moves completely freely especially in this direction. So, make sure that moves freely. And then here's the little triangle. Take an exacto knife and bevel the front edge of about a 45 degree angle. And then this, we can glue on right here, making sure that the front edge of this lines up with this corner. The rudder is all hinged, and I glued in this, that triangle. And I also sanded this edge a little bit, just so I could make the rudder, make it blend in a little more with the rudder. So there's the rudder travel, and the rudder's hinged. This is installed. Now there's the, this is the, rear section with this bottom skinning of the fuselage. So, turn the fuselage sideways like this, so you can see the bottom. And this piece, just glue it in like that. This is, so what you're going to do is start by moving it up to the front like this, and start by, start it in the front by gluing it to the landing gear block and then just work your way down gluing it until you get all the way to the tail. Kind of show you a step by step process here. Got the bottom part of the fuselage here and first I've just glued it to the landing gear block so it's only glued up there. Now I'm just going to work my way down and continue gluing it all the way up until I get it to the tail. So I have this seam glued all the way up until the fuselage crease right here. Just glue down the rest and this, this installation of this bottom piece is complete. We got the lower fuselage skin installed here. Goes all the way up to the landing gear plate. Two rectangles left. Take the smaller one and start out getting it ready for assembly. Don't glue it in yet, but do anything. But what we are going to do is there are pretty much three, three line segments. One, two, three on this front section. So what I'm going to do is set it here. Mark the first one. Set it here. Mark the second one. Here. Mark the third one. I'll show you what that looks like. Where are the two fold lines are going to be. I'll take a ruler. So the first one, so you don't have to do that step. 
The first one is an inch from the right. The second one is about three and a quarter. So just make two marks there and then use the same exact same technique for the canopy. Just kind of score it, but only score like a quarter inch on each. Or just make one big score line on each one of these lines. So I've made these two score lines with a pencil and a ruler. This is one inch, and this one I think was three and a quarter. So and then I've kind of bent those so those are nice and easy to bend. And then, I'm not going to glue this in yet. I'm just going to get this piece ready. Because we're going to want to mount, probably mount the speed control here. But you should be able to stick it back against there. And then bend it up along the two lines. So we'll see how it actually will end up fitting. But we're not going to install that yet until we get the motor and speed control installed. So let's put that aside used so far and I'm setting that aside and getting out one of the wings so what I'm going to do now is bevel the edges and make a tape hinge to hinge the aileron onto the wing so here's one of the wings it's all hinged and everything and now um, the plans show one carbon tube going from wingtip to wingtip but I don't know how that's going to actually work. So what I'm going to do is make two slots. Um, so if you remember, in the middle of the larger tab, there's a, there's a slot for that carbon tube. So in the middle of the larger tab, which is right here, I'm going to cut out to like maybe about here or so to fit a carbon tube the main carbon tube. Then I'm going to put another carbon tube so that the first tube, tube will go to about here like here to here. Then I'm going to put another one that goes maybe either here to here or here to here to strengthen the wing tip. So I'll just show you what this will look like. Here's my carbon tube layout in the wing. This is the main wing spar. This one goes from here to here through the middle of the fuselage and then all the way out this far in the next wing. This one is kind of the wing tip spar, which is just a short tube which goes from here to here. So that's how I'm going to set up the carbon tubes in the wing on this plane. I got this first wing tip carbon tube installed just like that and I can't really install this tube until the wings are on the plane. So until then um, so there's the bottom of the hinging. So while I wait for that to get the second tube installed, before we get before we install the wings, get the wings ready to install, we have to glue on the bottom KFM4 piece. So there's the KFM4 airfoil installed on the bottom. Can't install the top yet, so otherwise I can't get the carbon tube in. So now what I'm going to do is just sand this down real nice. So this wing is done for now. Here's the top of it. Got the slots, one carbon tube installed, and the bottom of the KFM4 airfoil installed and sanded down. Nice and weak. And um, so we're pretty much done with this wing for right now. And we can go now move on to the next wing and get to the same place with the next wing. Here's the second wing. You got this carbon tube installed and now I'm installing the KF foil. This is just weighting it down. So now my main carbon tube which spans um, from here to the other side you can cut that. I made each of these slots from here to here is 11 inches so that's 22 inches of spar and then in the fuselage there's this section which is 5 inches um, so that's I need to make a 27 inch carbon spar to go from here to the other side in that way I've cut a 27 inch 
carbon fiber spar and installed it in one of the wings. So now this wing can have the top of the KF airfoil installed. At this point the wings are as finished as that we can get them. This wing has both slots cut, one carbon tube installed, and the KFM airfoil installed on the bottom. This wing has both the airfoil pieces installed, so it's three layers thick. And then it also has the big spar installed there. Now, once you get those done, you can move on to the fuselage again. Um, and I've installed the upper deck piece here. Um, to do that first, bevel the edge so that these will fit together. And then, I made lots of little cuts along the back here and kind of slowly folded it. And then filled those with glue and put a lot of glue on that area to strengthen it back up once I've installed it. That, I think it's easier to install than the canopy, but note that I put the cuts on the inside and then bended it out. That looks good. So, once we're there, we're ready to install the motor.